This podcast is supported by FX's English Teacher, a new comedy from executive producers of What We Do in the Shadows and Baskets. English Teacher follows Evan, a teacher in Austin, Texas, who learns if it's really possible to be your full self at your job while often finding himself at the intersection of the personal, professional, and political aspects of working at a high school. FX's English Teacher premieres September 2nd on FX. Stream on Hulu. Thank you for listening to the Mutual Audio Network. We are here for you 24-7. But fair warning, some of the shows are a little cranky if you get them up too early. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. August 3rd, 2005. You are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. <laughs> And welcome back to another episode of Technical Difficulties. Uh, this is for the first uh, week of August, and the, the day you'll be hearing this is as it last week. There'll be tornado sirens going off everywhere, probably for real too, if I know the weather around here. But uh, anyway, I have a guest with me, and John Henry is back. Hello. Yes, John. We haven't seen John in a long time. Uh, the, uh, the we haven't seen a new zoo patrol, and and you just not been around. Where the hell were you? Uh, I don't know. A white van just pulled up in front of my apartment. Uh. And quite frankly, I don't remember. Nothing, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you know, that reminds me. The last time that happened, we found you naked just wandering around the woods by the Mississippi River. You covered with those little, weird little scoop marks. That was <laughs> but great. seriously, folks, I live in a nudist colony down by the Mississippi River. Wow, it's true. It's really sad during the winter, too, just shivering nude people everywhere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh. No, but uh, we use our body heat to keep us warm. Body heat! Now 10% more effective! So, and is that how you power the generators in the car? Just body heat cars? Uh, well, it's actually an Amish nudist colony. Yeah. Um, everybody has a, a hole in a sheet that they walk around looking through so as not to see any, any vile things of nudity and and acts of nakedness ah, okay. and uh you know sin mm. that's always good not to have the sin around yeah because that leaves more for the rest of us i would think i have a sin powered car myself oh really yeah, sin 500 times more <laughs> more efficient and effective <laughs> anyway what, what right. kind of mileage do you get <clears throat> I got to go. <laughs> um, uh, it gets uh, 3,000 miles to the gallon. <laughs> per gallon Per gallon. Sin. Per gallon of sin. It takes a long time to build up an entire gallon of sin, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it does. It takes hours of hours of perdition. And uh, what if you had, like, a preteen son? I think that the, that the dirty thoughts alone... <laughs> Ew, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Ew. Not for you, the son. The, oh, because oh. it wouldn't it be oh, like, like a family's worth of oh puberty? You mean yeah. yes? Oh yeah, yeah. I did not mean to misconstrue anything there. No. Anyways, yeah, we'll be skipping this intro from that point forward. <laughs> anyway, I just, I just as a side note, um, we uh, uh, just just last night I was catching up with uh, LuckyBitchRadio.com. Wanda Wisdom, and Wanda had just had her 100th episode. And that really amazed me, because we started doing podcasting around the same time. And that was, you know, about five months ago. And, and Wanda had her 100th episode. And I was thinking, boy, you know, that, that is so cool. You know, I mean, I mean Wanda Wisdom does, does a show every night. You know, just pretty much five days a week. And so it was easy to build up that many episodes. And, and, and you and I just do uh, once a week if I'm here. If you're here, yeah. And, I, I do, uh, about, do one a week. I do one a week. In fact, I've skipped a week. And I may skip another week in the future if something comes up or something. But still, you know what I mean? It's like I can't wait for when the day comes along for when we have, like, the technical difficulties 100th episode. I just can't wait for that. You can't wait? No. Then why wait? Is John, is that a magic wand? It sure is. Follow me! And with that, we present Technical Difficulties number 100. Yes, 
Isn't that amazing, John? 100 episodes of Technical Difficulties, isn't that? 100. 100. Boy. One with three zeros. Yeah, that's thousands. 100. 100. Yes, that's... Okay. Well, anyway, we... we, Yeah, we made it all the way to 100 episodes now, and uh, boy, what a long, strange trip it's been. I, I, I can just remember some of those... Some of those great sketches. You, wow, some of the, those amazing guests and highlights. I think we should go over a few of those for the benefit of the audience, just, just sort of in celebration of our 100th episode. 100. Why, I remember... Our one hundredth episode. I remember that too. Isn't that great? The first of our hundredth episodes, and it was it. It really where you said, and now time for our one hundredth episode. Yeah, boy, that's really that's bringing back memories of just a few minutes ago. That's something, truly yes. And uh, I remember. Uh, well, let's see. What, what? Let's let's have a look at the list here of, of what we've got for some of our favorite episodes. Of course, there was. Uh, yeah, remember the humble origins of, of Yeah, it seems like just 20 years ago that that uh, you were your podcast was just just a, a young a young ch- I, I screwed up. I feel like I That's all right, it. just keep it I'll going. I'll keep going. Why I remember back when it was just you Two tin cans and a string in Soviet Russia. Isn't that that was back then in the Cold War, and it was amazing because back then, you know, in Soviet Russia, the podcast you didn't listen to podcast. It was podcast, <laughs> podcast. Yeah. Listen to vodka, it's vodka, and stood in long line waiting for food and automobiles. <laughs> it is the comedy of the state. It's it was, and the podcast made Ronald Reagan laugh a lot. Laugh all the way to his grave. I guess I believe it was. That was when they discovered that podcasting could cause Alzheimer's if you used tin cans in Soviet Russia. And and, and, then and there it was, was made out of asbestos. Remember the podcast we did live from the from the collapsing of the Berlin Wall? I really told you not to lean on it like that. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> guards with guns falling all over everything. <laughs> it was like that huge dominoes competition that you entered. Yes, I know. <laughs> And then they found out later it was Stonehenge. (laughs) Boy, all of England was mad at me for that. (laughs) Yeah, did you break Stonehenge? Fine, fine, go right ahead. Yeah, major architectural landmark in England gets broken, and what do you do? You go ahead and blame the end. Go ahead, blame me, blame the end. Well, I will. Let's get him. Shit. Yeah, it's, well, it was the L.A. Riot podcast. Yeah. Yeah, that was when we... I think we set fire to Fredericks of Hollywood when we were doing that one. Yeah, and didn't you steal all your jokes? Yeah, I did. I did. Actually, I beat up three people and stole jokes from them, and then uh, and then uh, then set fire to Fredericks of Hollywood again. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't stay away from it. Well, in celebration of this, what do you say we go back and sort of relive some of those some of those highlights? Like, what's some of your favorite? That's well, done? I mean, I don't think I'm alone in this, but who could forget such hits as? The introduction to episode 94. Oh, I remember that, yeah. Uh, June 4, bar, 4, 15th, and, uh, and, and you are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. And then there was the uh, the, the, the the episode 75 introduction. That was really... That was, that was great. You were on your A game. Yeah, yeah. Episode 75 of technical difficulties. You are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. And then there were some of our many live events. Do you remember that? Where yeah, we, where like the sound seeing tour of the Mall of America. Yeah, we covered the live the live uh, Leaf Garrett autograph session. Why is everybody running away from me? You're on drugs, Leaf, aren't, 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 aren't you? Aren't you? Come on, you're on drugs, aren't you? Come on, Leaf's on drugs. Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Hey, no. Yeah, you're on drugs, you're on drugs aren't, aren't you? I know you're on drugs. You're on drugs. Here, I'm parked out back. You want to go for a ride? No, I don't want to go with you. You're on drugs. You're on drugs, and remember the one where we got to ride in the Batmobile? Yeah, inside Air Force One. With Mr. T. And we went into that nose dive that made it feel like zero gravity. Yeah, yeah. Here, let, let's, let's play, the, t- let's play that to that, the tape of that. Cue it. Oh, sweet, the Batmobile. We're in the Batmobile and Mr. T's asleep in the back seat. Gun it, gun it. <laughs> Turbine engines to speed, dude. Hey, Ghost of President Taft, is it okay if we drive the Batmobile around, around the Air Force One? Go for it! All right! Woo! Whoa. Look out, Whoa. up! I pity the fool! Oh. Oh, shit, John! Where am I? M- Mr. T's waking up. Give him some more milk before he realizes ah. he's on an airplane. Oh, woo! 
Just hey. say no to drug school. Uh. Oh, Mr. T's unconscious, and, and Air Force One's going into a dive. And we're in the Batmobile. We're in free fall. Quick, get some more water. Put Mr. T's hand in it. And boy, did we ever. Oh, man, we 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 drove in the and Batmobile. We free fell. Uh, yeah, and Mr. T peed right in free fall right there in Air Force One. Oh, boy. I have to say that was probably the greatest day of my entire life. And I think we all learned a valuable lesson. We sure did. But hey, you know, I've got a favorite episode. And really, one of my favorite episodes is episode number 83. The, the, oh, the, yeah. The series finale for Zoo Patrol. Wasn't that was that amazing. Intense. Let's listen to a bit of that. Well, gang, I'm so proud of you for stopping that armada of evil clowns and monkeys from destroying the Vatican. Yeah, it was especially harrowing after they moved the Vatican to the North Pole. When Santa Claus won the Pope Lottery. Yes, but I thought it was so nice that the UN Council let the elves all become cardinals. Well, what else could they do? The aliens were already on their way! Yeah, it's really too bad the little buggers managed to destroy the Empire State Building and the Space Needle and the Eiffel Tower and the Parthenon and the Sphinx and the Pyramids and the Grand Canyon, the Mississippi River, the fjords of Norway, and my favorite coffee shop, I'll add. Danny sure figured out a way to outsmart them, didn't you, Danny? <laughs> I sure did. I just used my honorary doctorate from Yale. Who knew their superior intelligence would be befuddled by our use of pigment on parchment? Yes, and that threw them just long enough for Brett to get off that shot with a the thermonuclear missile. It was dipped in poison. Yes, in the hantavirus. Boy, the aliens didn't have any defense against that. <laughs> Unfortunately, neither did the rest of human civilization. What do we lose, about two-thirds of the population in a week? I don't know. I can't count. But at least we still have our jobs. Ah, that reminds me. The Grand Master of all the zoos has decided, unfortunately, to close down all of the zoos in the world and preserve the animals in liquid nitrogen for future generations. So I'm afraid we're all out of jobs. Close the zoos. On this planet. You've been listening to Zoo Patrol. The end. Yeah, and that, that was it. That was the end of Zoo Patrol. Yeah, it had a good run, though. Yeah, it did. It did. 75 episodes. Yeah, mm-hmm. but do you, uh, do you remember the spinoff show? Oh, yeah. Zoo Patrol... In, in space, in space. Or, and I think we also were thinking of calling it Zoo Patrol Hollywood Space or Space Zoo Patrol. I, I never really fit. It didn't really yeah. gel together well. Well, it didn't really fit with the listeners either. No, no, it was kind of like our after mash for, yeah. for that. It was that kind of like, we got a lot of really, really, really raunchy mail on that one. Nobody really liked it. That and it only lasted one episode. Yeah, because Danny poked holes in in the spaceship. So everybody could breathe. Yeah, yeah. And remember that remember that audio message we got from those from those kids? Um, actually I am sending this message to you in the iPod making place to to cite a flaw that I found in your program. Yeah. Where, because if, uh, if Danny on Zoo Patrol Space Show had really poked holes in his shuttle um, the whole thing would have exploded and without any flames in the vacuum of outer space, as well as all of their eyeballs popping out and their blood boiling in an instant. Yeah, it wasn't really very realistic. And I think they shouldn't have replaced Sylvia with the robot from Buck Rogers. That was really annoying. Just, that's enough. Just press stop on my first song. And they didn't just... even have Mel Blanc doing the beady, beady voice. It was real. It sucked, man. You shouldn't have done just, that. That's a, just press stop. And then you guys, you should have used... I said press stop! No, they should have used the robot from the... Mom! Bar. Yeah, those, those were the kids from the LARP Society. You remember those kids, yeah? Boy, I sure do. Yeah, boy, that, they, were, I, they were quite a handful of little... Pips there, weren't they? Yeah. Weren't they ever? But do you remember the very special episode of the LARP Society? The very spe- a very special after-school special of the LARP Society. I remember that very clearly where Wyman had a problem. Come on, I want to see if I can roll to steal the jewels of Zarthon. Yeah, where's Wyman, man? He's been in the bathroom for I told for like- you guys we have to wait until he gets back. He's been in the bathroom for like half an hour. What's going on over there, man? Uh- Oh, here, oh, here he, he comes. Okay, uh, I'm ready. I, 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 I got my cleric. What? I'm ready. 
Man, what were you doing in there for so long? Nothing. I wasn't doing any... I, I, you were nothing. gone for like an I, hour. I was masturbating. I was. That was what I was I doing. I know you. But your nudie magazines are still hidden underneath your, ba- your bed. Yeah, and your hands are like... You, you don't have hair all over your hands. Because my mom told me you get hairy palms if you do that. Listen, Wyman. Nathan and Carl are right. Yeah. And we have a game to play. In the next room, <laughs> but I've decided you're gonna face the ogre uh, what? of addiction. No, I can. I was. I was doing drugs. All right, I was doing drugs in the bathroom because I. My my mom divorced my dad because my dad is gay, and 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 I was adopted, and I have epileptic seizures, and I have to take drugs because of all the peer pressure from the bad kids at school. Uh, that's why I drink and take drugs. That's right. And that's why you have to face the ogre of addiction. No, I don't want to fight the ogre of addiction. I can't fight the ogre. I'll roll to hit. Damn it, I missed. You guys are going to help me, right? Huh? No way. Uh-uh, no way, man. You, you got, got a monkey on your back. You got to take this one by yourself. Uh, you guys suck. All right, guys. This is for serious. <laughs> you miss. And that means now the ogre gets to take a swing. With his plus one warhammer of addiction. I've been hit. Twelve points. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna roll roll again. Twenty. Oh, cool. Seventeen points of damage. <laughs> I get to take a shot. I can't believe it. He beat. The ogre of addiction <laughs> by himself. Yeah, he didn't roll anything but 20s the whole time. That's because I was drunk. <laughs> Logic dictates that if we all get drunk, we'll all be this good. Yeah, maybe we should all start taking drugs. <laughs> yeah, we'll be like the toughest kids at school in d d Yeah, it tells to us. Hold it right there, kids. Mr. Mr. T. T. That's right, kids. Put down that crack pipe. Unroll that hundred dollar bill. You gotta stop using drugs before they start using you. You gotta be somebody or be somebody's fool. Mr. T, did you wet yourself? What? No. I was in the Batmobile. In a free fall. On Air Force One. With the ghost of President Taft. He said it was cool. Mr. T's, T's on drugs. Oh, on drugs. Mr. T's on drugs. What? T's on drugs. What? So T's on drugs. Drugs. No, no. no. The drugs. Totally the drugs was in the milk. They gave me the milk. The drugs was in the milk. Ah, uh, so many memories. So many memories. We are, is your mic? I'm going to turn on my mic. Okay, yeah. Set. It wasn't that. I just, man, 100 episodes. That was so quickly. And we, we didn't even get to. Whoops. We didn't even. Hold on. Keep talking while I pick up. Oh. Yeah, there were so many parts that we wanted to yeah, show we all of you. D- I was so many fond memories of the dangerous animals discussion panel between the what was it the, the shark? shark and the wolverine. Yeah, but which one was tougher? That yeah. was great. And then we had what else was the uh, that we had the interview with with uh, Rick Santorum where yep. where he he expressed his entire view for America. What was that again? Um, something about watching watching people have sex with dogs and. And gay people having children without birth control, right? All on closed circuit TVs. Uh, yeah, yeah, because so the government. Uh, yeah, yeah, no more privacy. No more laws. privacy. Yeah, that was great. I think he lost that election. And then uh, what else do we uh, remember? Oh. When we found the Loch Ness monster. Oh, that was that was an episode, boy. Yeah, we found the Loch Ness monster. We tried to wrestle it to the shore and everything. He was mad. That yeah, was, boy. <laughs> Boy, that's and that's and that's only scratch the surface. We recommend you go back and listen to all hundred episodes again if you really want to want to get the full big picture of of what it was like to to do all these years of uh, of technical difficulties. Well, well, well. After a hundred episodes, that really leaves one thing. That, yes, it does. Ritual suicide. Everybody, get out your cups of Kool Aid. Your Ex- exploding Kool Aid. Right, and we'll see you all in a hundred episodes. Bye. <laughs> Isn't it rich? Aren't we a pair? Me here at last on the ground, and, and me in the air. Send in the clouds. There ought to be clouds. <laughs>
clouds. We need some more clouds. clouds. There's Mr. T. He's high as a kite. In the bat mill field in free fall. With President Taft. Taft. And And Leaf Garrett. He's like a clown. (laughs) High on some some drugs. drugs And running. Driving around around like like a fool. In Air Force One. (laughs) And then we have. Fun in Air Force, Air Force One. Send in the clouds. <laughs> well, that brings us to the to the very special twenty fifth, one hundred episode, one hundredth episode, episode of technical of difficulty. Technical difficulty. Clowns. I'm Kyan Chris Conroy. And I'm John Henry. And, and We'll be back again next week with more fun on technical difficulties. Until then, drop us a line at techdiff at tcinternet.net or vote at Podcast Alley for the show, and uh, and we'll, we'll be back again next week. Take care. Adios. Adios. Me here at last on the ground. And me in the air. Look out for Mr. T. He's drinking the milk. And pitying fools. You're listening to Friday Follies. Jokes, laughs, and guffaws to tickle your funny bone on the Mutual Audio Network. Join us tomorrow morning on Mutual for Saturday Story Circle. Bring the kids, your coloring books, and crayons, and get the whole family into a great start to the day with audio cartoons. You can always subscribe to the full Mutual Audio Network feed for every day of audio drama that fits your fancy. Or discover Saturday Story Circle in your favorite podcast players like Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, or Spotify. The Mutual Audio Drama Network, where we listen and imagine together.